Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new episode of the Longsword the Techniques Compendium. Today we give a look to the outside parry, going through some technical advices and ideas to inspire your training. First of all, before you start writing in the comments, here we are looking at a specific common parry, quite close to the body, useful to parry the majority of the actions aimed at the chest, arm or head. There are other ways to defend yourself, but this is a single video on a single subject. That said, let's start by saying that while closing the outside line, you have to first and foremost decide with which kind of edge you are going to parry. Two edge or false edge. While gripping the blade in the so-called German grip, namely with the thumb of your main hand pushing over the flat of the shield slash blade, it's generally easier to defend with the false edge. By a defensive point of view, this parry works slightly better. It is easier to move from one side to the other and intercept strikes with a relatively short movement of your arms and the rotation of your torso. The downside of it is related to reposts. For example, while landing a fendente slash oberhau, it's easy to land it with your flat, as the natural arm extension movement puts you in the condition to do so. So it is better to land mezzani slash mittelhau if the goal is to land strikes with your edge. To land a downward attack while keeping the same grip, you have to turn your arm on its axis so to make your elbow looking sideways. In this way, the downward cut lands properly with the edge. Of course, it makes this repost more harder, but of course it's still viable. You have otherwise access to other reposts, such as both the Tverhaus, right and left, and a downward false edge Oberhau. And if the distance between you and the opponent makes it possible, a thrust. Instead, pairing with the two edge is generally more comfortable while keeping a standard handshake grip, which I generally do most of the time. Pairing with the two edge gives you the exact opposite situation of the false edge parry. The parry itself is mechanically more complex, it requires more torso rotation and an additional arm rotation, which the false edge parry doesn't ask for. Otherwise, in exchange for that, you have easier access to a variety of reposts. First of all, of course, Defendente, which now is easy to land properly with the edge. Then, of course, you have the Mezzano, which is always possible and tends to be the one-on-one -on -one repost of the outside parry in general, and the Sotano too. Then, you have the option for a high thrust with opposition and the left fair Of course, I am listing the most comfortable options here. With enough struggles, you can land everything as a repost from basically every kind of position. The repost I generally advise to go for at first is the Mezzano, or Mittelhau, namely a cut more or less parallel to the ground. It is comfortable and easy to land at first, and with a bit of luck and timing, if the opponent tries to land another cut, has the crosscut placed correctly to protect you. The Mezzano is otherwise at the same time the easier one to parry. So the second way to go repost, which I would advise you to train, is Defendente, or Oberhau. This is fast and hard to parry if properly trained and executed. Then every other repost is uh, slightly more situational, let's say. The rule which I mentioned in the previous video is still mostly valid. If the opponent is above, strike below, and if the opponent is below, strike above. So, the sotano here comes really handy, to cover certain specific situations. But remember, also that the mezzano can land wherever you want, if you need another option or you are limited by your parry. The Tverhau is a medium range cut, and so it is especially useful when the distance gets slightly shorter, or when you make it slightly shorter. And it may also be tricky to parry sometimes, so keep it in mind. Talking about training the outside parry, doing parry drills and exercises, always work over it mainly as a second action parry. A second parry. To be clear, work over it as a standalone parry at first, of course, especially if you're a lefty, 
but work over it too against compound actions which will be the one that will make you struggle the most and the one you will face the most especially as a right hander so a bunch of advices to work on your outside parry i hope you will find them useful very good people i hope you will find this video useful remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and uh, see you next time